Hello everybody! I know that I haven't posted a video for a while and I've been really busy and I'm on my summer vacation so there's not so much time to film and things like that and I also have to study for my exam so you'll excuse me and I'll do much better when I return and things like that but I really wanted to do this because I still managed to read a lot of books and I read 8 books this month and some of them I have here which is not so usual for me because I read a lot on my Kindle these days and I read almost all of these books in their physical form so that's good and I have my sunglasses because it is summer and you need a pair of sunglasses even though there is no sun here anyways at the beginning of month I read Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Nass. First book being Knife of Never Letting Go, Then Ask and Answer, and Monsters of Men. And these three books are in Serbian because I'm sure that you know that English is not my first language. So I read the translation and I'm really sorry that I didn't read the original version because I'm sure that it would be much better than the translation. But those books were fantastic anyways and I liked the second book the most and I gave it 5 stars so these two I gave I think 4 stars and this one I gave 5 stars and I really really enjoyed them although it took me some time to read them I needed almost 4 to 5 days to, need to read one of these books and it really took me some time but I managed to do it so I completed this trilogy and I've been wanting to read it for a while now and I'm really happy with myself because I managed to do it then after that I have to see my Goodreads account then after that I decided to participate in the book Tubaton and I didn't do really well there I read only two books and I read of Poseidon and that is the first book of the Serena Legacy and I wanted to complete the trilogy to read all three books but I couldn't do it because I really loved the first book and then something happened in the second book and something that I really wasn't okay with and I didn't really like it that much so I stopped reading it and hopefully I will finish it someday but I don't know when and I read this book on my Kindle. So I completed a total of one challenge and that is to read the genre that I haven't read this year a lot and if you could call a book about mermaids genre then that is my that is the only challenge I completed. Then after that I read Amy and Roger's epic detour and this is also a book I read during the book Tubaton and I'm not sure if you could put this into any of the challenges. I think that this could be a book with pictures because there are a lot of small pictures and notes in there about their, their journey and things like that. So I completed two challenges and this book is a contemporary. I really really loved it. So this book was really great and I would really like to read some of her other books because I, I think and I heard that they're also great. So another great writer discovery. After that I picked I picked up two books and I put aside reading them so for so long and I finally decided to continue on with the trilogy. So those books are A Million Suns and Shades of Earth by Beth Ravis and those are the uh, second and the third book in Across the Universe trilogy and I was so surprised because I didn't really like the first book so much. I like the idea and I like how it turned out to be at the end but it was really slow for me and it wasn't what I expected but in the second and the third book I suppose that I kind of knew what I should expect from them and that's why I like them a lot more than the first one 
especially the third book. The third book was phenomenal and the second book as well and I really like like all the mysteries and all the things they have to discover and I couldn't guess a lot of things so that's a great plus for these books so you should definitely check these out. After finishing Shades of Earth I decided to read uh, contemporary again and I picked up another book by Jenny Han that is To All the Boys I've Loved Before. This book was so cute. I finished it in one day. It is such a page turner and I'm really happy that I decided to read this book because it was such a great book. It had some funny moments. I was not so pleased with the ending but then I found out that this book is the first in the trilogy and that was really great because now I can expect a second book and better ending in it. So that's that's really great. And if you haven't read any Jenny Han books before, I highly rec recommend you to start reading her books because she is a phenomenal writer and her characters and everything is just so great. They're just usual contemporary books, you know, high schoolish, usual problems, real life, things like that. But then, then you get to know these characters and each and every one of them is brilliantly described. Each and every one of them is unique and different and when you finish reading any of her books you feel like you feel like you, you've just been to this world where, where you know all the characters and where you are friends with some of them and you can find yourself in some of them so that's really great and I really love that so I think that I've read almost every of her books this year and I've read Burn for Burn, Fire with Fire and I can't wait to read the third book in that trilogy and I also read Summer Turned Pretty trilogy and it was also great and this one was also great and I love each and every one of them and I really can't decide which one I like the most they're all great Last but not the least, because the month is not still over, what I'm planning to do is start Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and the second part, Hollow City, is it called like that? I think it is. This is in Serbian, but there are also pictures and I can't wait to read it because I've heard amazing things about it. And I've also heard that you can either love it or hate it and I hope that I will love it because if what I see in the cover is true, I certainly will. So that would be my wrap up and I really hope that I will manage to do more videos in the near future because I have more time now and I hope that I will manage to do it. So I'll see you then and thanks for watching. Press the like button, subscribe if you haven't and see you soon.